and we're back to the running GIMP and this time I'm going to show you a disintegration effect. This is one way to do it, but it basically works on any photo. I copy this two times and I keep the origin as a backup. And then I have copy 1 and copy 2. I'll go to copy 1 first, everything else is invisible. And I want to have it right here where the hair is. So let's focus on this area on the left hand side. First step is to use the Warp Transform tool. If you can't find that, go to Tools, short key is W. You can increase the size like this. Strength and hardness are also important. You can see it if I increase the strength. I left click and I can drag these giant warp effects. Let me use something like this. If I increase the hardness, it's going to get more like a, you can see that it's more like a step-by-step -step process. So if you want to have it smoother, just go down with the hardness a little bit. As I've said, I want to take care of the hair here. So I'll go over these areas, left click drag, until there are no sharp contours anymore. But instead we have these waves. That's always the first step when I want to create this disintegration effect. We still have, you can see it if I make this visible, the origin on top. In between we'll create a new layer. It's important that it's transparent. And I'll name that, let me think, maybe I'll just call that fragments because we want to create color fragments. Once again it's in between 1 and 2. And I'm now on this layer which is empty for now. I use the paintbrush tool. I want to find a good brush. Well let me first pick the color that we need which is the color of the background right here. So use the color picker, left click on the background and this gives us this color. We need black and this color. So let me do it like this. Alright, we'll use the paintbrush tool. And now I'm going to use an inbuilt brush. If you can't find your brush toolbox, go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and there you should find it. Shift Ctrl B is the short key. You can basically use any brush that you want, but I'm going to use one that is inbuilt, so you should find that as well. Maybe like a splats. Splats 1, Splats 2, Sponge, oh, let me let me stick to Splats 2, something like this. So once again I've got the background color active and now if I left click this is the effect that we've got. Maybe the size was a little bit too big. And now I'll go over the edges until we can't see edges anymore. So that's the goal in this step. And this already gets close to what we actually want. And now we can go to our second layer right here, right click on it, add layer mask, make it white, confirm via add. I'm on this layer mask, swap the colors to black, and now I can bring parts back and create this disintegration effect. And that's the process that you should use by doing it like this, so separating it on three different layers. We can go back to each and adjust it. So the first one, layer one was about the warp tool. If we want to have a more extreme effect, we can add that. Second layer was about adding the background color. Oh, I'm on black here, so let me press Ctrl Z. 
Obviously, I'm going to have the background color active. And finally, layer two was about the layer mask. So make it visible again, go to the layer mask, swap the colors to black, and now you can add more fragments. And this is the process that you can use to create this disintegration effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.